Hello, and welcome to Programming for the Absolute Beginner Part 4, your first program. The last tutorial, we got the tools we needed to get started writing some code. So this tutorial, we're going to get right to it. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create your first simple program that will output text to the screen. We will discuss the main function and its purpose along with printf and commenting. In the next tutorial, we will pick up the pace and learn about memory management. So for now, go to your dock and open up Xcode. Select File, New File, and under the Mac OS X category, select C and C++ and C file. Underneath the subcategory of C and C++, and then click Next. We're going to call the program My First Program. And we're going to make sure to uncheck the also create my first program.h and I'll explain that later. Location, we're going to store this on our desktop directory. And then we're going to select finish. It tells me that the file has already existed, so I'm just going to remove the old and create a new. Then we're going to open up our terminal. This is our, Uni our Unix shell which actually interfaces with our computer. So what we're going to do is type in clear for now and then hit enter. Don't worry exactly about what it is and I'll get to explaining it in the Unix command line series of tutorials. But for now just follow as I do. So step one for creating a program, we must import all necessary header files before we attempt to run our program. In this case, we only need to include the stdio.h, which stands for Standard Input Output Header. stdio.h is the header in C standard library that contains macro definitions, constants, and declarations, declarations of functions and types used for various standard input and output operations. The functionality comes from a portable I.O. package written by a guy named Mike Lesk at Bell Labs sometime early in the 70s. So let's get to writing our include statement. Make sure to do exactly as I do, and once we completely write our first program, we'll document it afterwards. So every C program has a primary main function that must be named main. The main function serves as the starting point for program execution. It usually controls program execution by directing the calls to other functions in the program. A program usually stops executing at the end of main, although it can terminate at other points in the program for a variety of reasons. Sometimes, when an error is detected, you may want to force the termination of a program. To do this, you could use the exit function, but we will talk about that at another time as well. So let's get to writing our main. I always begin writing the complete function first with opening and closing curly braces so I make sure that I haven't forgotten it later on when I'm writing other code. Another programming convention is to take this and actually keep it up here. But that's pure pref all your style. It depends on however you want to do it. So now what we're going to do is get to writing our printf statement, which gives you the power to print output onto the screen and is relatively simple to use. The number of arguments required varies, but the first argument you pass should be a string. Think of a string as a sequence of characters for now. Recall that strings must be surrounded by double quote marks. So let's write our printf statement. Here's the starting double quote and we're going to write my first program exclamation point and we'll give it a new line so we can make sure that we read it clearly and we'll close the string close the printf and terminate the, terminate the statement save it now we're gonna go over to our terminal we're gonna compile oh we need to make sure we're on our desktop directory so how could we do that we can do that by saying change directory which is using the cd command space desktop and hit enter. Then we're going to clear it again so we can see better and we're going to click cc space my first 
program and make sure you wrote it the way that you actually wrote the name of the file and hit enter. Now that we see that it's compiled correctly with no errors, now we're going to select dot forward slash a dot out and this is the command that is going to allow us to actually execute our program code. Now hit enter. And as you can see, my first program has been printed to the screen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually document this code. We're going to document this code so we can have a better understanding of what we're actually doing when we want to refer back to it later on. So this, so first, we need to include the necessary header files we need to run our program. Then we have to write the main program that serves as the starting point for program execution. Anything that it, you see that comes after these two forward slashes um, is completely ignored by the program. It's just a comment. And I'll show you how you can comment in another way in a second. As you notice, you can comment here by opening a forward slash and a, and a star symbol and, a, and a, an enclosing star symbol with a closing forward slash, which is a comment block, or and it blocks out whatever's in between it, or you can actually just comment out single lines and continue to do it with the double forward slash. So um, the printf statement um, is outputting line of text to the screen anything between the double quote marks gets output to the screen and here we're just going to make a little comment that reminds us not to forget the closing curly brace on any functions and then we're going to save the file by selecting command s and then we can recompile it so you can see that all of our comments actually got completely ignored and the program still runs successfully so now what i want you to do is i want you to take this program and by next class i want you to output your own line of text to the program uh, to the screen um, and I want it to say, um, let's move on to lesson five already. Thank you for doing our program tutorial. And um, next tutorial, we will be getting uh, deeper into data types and st start defining variables with our first program that will manage some memory. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.